This tiny part fixed one of the most frustrating problems on the minimal. No mods, no upgrade kits, just smart geometry and a brass knob. Let me show you how I made it. I started with a leftover piece of cast iron from a previous project. Faced it off and turned it down to match the diameter of the downfeed wheel core. Then I drilled it out to fit over the thickest part of the pinion axle, key and all. Next, I bored a shallow recess so the clutch would seat tightly against the back of the downfeed wheel. Once the fit felt right, I parted it off to the correct width. And just to make it look the part, I turned a gentle taper on the outside, matching the original downfeed wheel. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I turned an 8 degree self-holding taper onto the original tooth wheel, then bought a matching taper inside the clutch. With that taper, the two parts clamp together so tightly they behave like one solid part. No slipping, no play, no backlash. To hold it all together, I drilled and tapped the end of the pinion axle. Then I made a knurled brass knob that fits onto an allen bolt. Now I've got a clutch that is easy to engage and disengage, strong enough to hold under load and smooth enough to operate with just your fingers. Best of all, it eliminated the last bit of backlash in my fine feed mechanism. Not bad for some leftover cast iron and a bit of brass. Click the link below to see the full video.